Hello, in this session, we will create particles using Niagara that maintain the shape of a mesh. First, create a Niagara system at your desired location. I created a folder named Niagara VFX and will create the Niagara system inside it. When the window appears, click Next. You can add emitters to the newly created Niagara system. You can add multiple emitters as needed. Here, I will add a directional burst and click Finish to create it. Name the system NS Mesh Particles. When you click it, the editor window will open. On the left side, in the preview section, you can see how it functions. Here, you can delete or deactivate unnecessary modules. Delete the gravity force and add velocity modules. In Particle Spawn, add the Skeletal Mesh Location Module. In the Selection section, set SKM Manny as the Preview Mesh. If you check the preview, you'll see the particles take on the shape of the mesh. It seems like there aren't enough particles, so let's increase the count. In Emitter Update, change the Spawn Count value in Spawn Burst Instantaneous to 3000. Then, scroll down and change the Mesh Sampling Type under Sampling from Skeleton to Triangle. In Particle Update, change the RGB color values in the Scale Color module. Then add the Curl Noise Force module and set the noise strength to 30. The reason for adding this is to make the particles disappear more naturally. Since I have added the third-person content, I will make it so that pressing a button in BP third-person character will trigger the Niagara system. In the blueprint, search for keyboard 1 and create it. Connect it to the pressed pin of the spawn system attached node. This node allows the system to play at the designated location and rotation. Add the Get Actor Transform node, split it, and connect location and rotation. Connect the skeletal mesh to the attached to component pin. Run the project, and while moving the character, press 1 to trigger the Niagara system. It seems I forgot to set the system template in Spawn System Attached. After adding it, run the project again, and it should appear as shown on the screen.